Lundorf. Into the final 10 minutes of the first half. There's an opportunity, the flag has stayed down and Juventus have taken the lead. Ariana Caruso it was with the volley. They have been knocking at the door in this first half. Ines Pereira. Beautifully weighted ball. That is a superb technique. The appeals for offside were in vain. The flag stayed down. The net bulge. Lundorf. Staskova. Staskova trying to feed it through. There's the opportunity for two. And there's the goal. It's Lena Hertig who doubles Juventus' advantage. Bonfrantini was in acres of space at the bottom of your pitcher. Lena Hertig pulled away, found the space. She was played onside. One touch and then a composed finish. Once again, the goalkeeper Ines Pereira appealing for offside. Once again, the appeals were futile. And Lena Hertig. Well, that's given away in a very dangerous position. Shot comes in from the substitute. What a strike that is. A third for Juventus. And it is Valentina Sonoya. Juventus are enjoying themselves now. She picked the ball up in space. A couple of touches to dig it out from underneath her feet. And then it arrowed into the bottom corner, always curling and spinning away from the despairing dive of Ines Pereira. Both teams have had the same amount of shots. And it is Chelsea. They have come out on top so far. Here come Juventus, though. There is a goal! Listen to the crowd cheer! And it's Bonansea that finds the equaliser for the home side, and the place erupts in Turin. A couple of times now in this game, look up, it's a great run, right into that area behind the wing back, and that's where we talked about maybe a problem for Chelsea, but she's still gonna finish it, Bon and Sayer, and what a great finish that is, right into the corner. And game on. All three goes, and Chirelli is in. Oh, she scored as well! Lift off for Juventus! <laughs> Onside, beyond Vedemeyer, hitting the target. As it bobbles its way beyond Schultz. Wolfsburg having been on top for... And it comes. Oh, and an important header. That's Bremer with the clearance. Stashkova on the turn. Stashkova. Oh, surely Girelli! Amazing! In the right place, at the right time, and not one single Wolfsburg defender keeping an eye on her. Credit Stashkova to keep things moving. And Girelli in the end cannot believe her luck as she has the freedom of Turin to pick her spot and to fire home a leveller against Wolfsburg. How on Bundesliga at the age of just 16. With Zabrucken. Oh, it's in towards her take out to no goal, I think. Breakthrough Juventus. It's a goal that we needed in the contest. But how did this find its way in? 
puts it the target. And in towards Hendrich. And it's come off a thigh beyond Dalmut Schultz in the blink of an eye. And Wolfsburg's hero against Bayern. It's all getting a little aimless, really, for Wolfsburg going forward. And here goes Bonacea. She's all on her own. Stashkaba. She'll get there. Can she seal it? Oh, yes, she can. It's Juventus's night tonight. A huge victory confirmed. And look at these celebrations for Juventus at the home of the two time European champions. Took a time, squeezed it through. An absolute joy. What a night this is going to turn out to be. And a chance for Juventus to commit some shirts forward. They've taken it quickly, trying to catch Servette napping. The ball comes in and there's the chance for Lina Hurtig. And Juventus have opened the scoring. Well, look at this quickly taken free kick. It was a really smart move. And there were options queuing up. Hurtig finding the space at the far post. A first time volley, superbly controlled into the bottom corner, down into the ground and into the net. Bonansail with the ball in. Hurtig with the finish. Juventus with the lead. No mistake, and Juventus lead by two. And they are closing in now on a place in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Into the bottom corner. Well, Pereira guessed the right way, but there was absolutely nothing she could do about it. Perfectly placed, too much power on it. And it's looking like being a good night for Juventus now. The third penalty that Pereira has faced against Juventus this season. She's conceded one. She has saved one. Girelli this time scores again. Same corner, same result. For Juventus. They are closing in on that quarter-final spot. Oh, now that's fallen kindly. Bonfantini has options to her left and to her right. She doesn't need either of them. The icing on the cake for Juventus. Who are now guaranteed a place in the quarterfinals. Well, it may have ricocheted kindly for her. She was onside, but look, she had two defenders around her. Options to her left-hand side and to her right-hand side. But some fancy footwork and a composed finish means Juventus can now celebrate a place in the quarter-finals of the Champions League.